Howdy folks, I hope you are well. My name is Nick and this is quite groovy music, but despite the groovy music, I think it's on the 48k. Well, that's what the thing says. We're having a look at a homebrew. It's Automated Cave Explorer, published by Alexei Borisov in 2019, Homebrew City. Uh, this was made as a part of the Yandex Retro Games Battle in 2019. We've already covered two games um, off on that battle, which was two races, Drift and Just a Gal, which are absolutely awesome. This is slightly different to that. This is a take on Boulder Dash. Uh, come out on the Spectrum in 1984, Boulder Dash by Front Runner, which the scrolling was terrible and it was a uh, bit monochrome. Let's see which one of these we do. Let's do the one at the start there. Not sure how well I'm going to do. So very Boulder Dash. Another Boulder Dash clone we covered was Earthshaker as a cover tape, Your Sinclair, in 1990, which was good. Now, if you're unaware how uh, Boulder Dash works, you've got this sort of like maze thing and the boulders will fall down when you go underneath them and you must avoid getting crushed by them you'll see the crystals collected in the bottom right when we get to a certain amount we need to find the exit and get out of here so that's pretty much it hopefully i'll get off level one now this homebrew is scrolling absolutely awesomely compared to the uh, original boulder dash on the spectrum where you controlled a character called rockford this time you're controlling a little bit of a robot with lovely animated legs have a look at those crystals are good there's a lot more color in this and it's moving really really well uh, even better than Earthshake I would have to say great stuff Alexei Borisov 2019 well done to him so yes the last few Wednesdays we've covered a few homebrews whether we can keep that up I don't know but time permitting I would certainly like to oh it's all about your planning here where these rocks are gonna fall down right get to go to exit is far in there so we don't need to really need to um, collect any more crystals we've got enough there's the exit there flashing away and it's done well I've done I've done level one right now level two this looks interesting there's bouncy green things and there's a few boulders there crystals to collect 71 right so they fall down and crush that and knock that away right it's all about your tactics not sure how many levels this one has got if you've completed it then let me know but again i'm really really impressed with this awesome homebrew really impressive how how much they can get out of a 48k now but i think they might have better compilers more advanced but yeah moving great scrolling really really well for a zx spectrum 48k graphics are good sound is good a uh, sound what there is is okay uh, the music at the start was brilliant but i've done an awesome job i think that's the exit back there right 60 crystals and this is the first level where there's stuff flying around that can kill you so we've got to avoid those we can't fire at them but i think we might be able to tr trick a boulder landing on their head if we're lucky right so 53 crystals we need to break into there by launching a boulder, boulder onto it. Yeah, so you destroy those... Oh, man. You destroy those hedgerows, the red bits, by walking through them. Once you've got a space either side of the boulder, you can push that to a strategic position. Maybe we start in a different place this time or not. No. Let's stick to what we know. So this is easy pickings here. That's easy crystals. Boom. Yeah, this might be the first time you've seen this game. If so, excellent, because I'm the first person showing you it. Well worth tracking down this one. It's a real nice game if you're a Boulder Dash fan. If you are a Boulder Dash fan, you can't get much better than this. Uh, Boulder Dash by Front Runner in 84 had a few sequels that was all made loosely around the same engine. I think a lot of that was uh, other homebrewers back at the time doing different things. But this is a completely different engine. And yeah, it's, it's great. It's a great little like, puzzler. Yeah, so a few good games come out of this Yandex Retro Games Battle in 2019. I don't know if they have one every year. If they do so, I'll have a look. Um, there, was a, there was another few games come out through um, uh, another competition which is slightly different which we've reviewed called 4K Racer. I think there's a couple of others as well. 4K Racer Plus. I think I've just fenced myself in, have I? Too busy talking. You need to concentrate on your strategy. I can't get through there. Nick, you've done a muck up. Yeah, you've done a muck up there. I think that's the exit on the right there. Yeah, that's the exit we need to get to. But we need another 51 crystals. I hope that we won't need everyone on screen. You don't tend to normally need them all. But these are going to fall down, these boulders to the bottom, through the black stuff. Unless I die. Oh, that's, oh, that's an exit there, right? They're gradually falling down. How many more do we need? 44. Oh, I think I've just broken the exit there. I can't even get to the exit unless it's going to turn up somewhere else. So I've, I've mucked this up quite royally. In terms of lives, I don't think you've got a set amount of lives. I think they just keep going on and on and on um, with infinite lives until you actually turn the thing off, which is pretty good. Which means, in, in a way, it's going to be super, super, super addictive. Yeah, I need 32. Mm. 
we might run out of crystals to collect there and as I say it is a worry that I might have duffed up the exit anywho avoid these wasp things going around the place here comes one I'm not sure they know they don't seem to know I'm here so not coming towards me so this is an automated cave explorer which well, not really that oh no I've died it's not really that automated because I'm controlling the whole thing hmm right away we go again as I say infinite lives so eventually you're going to get it by random it looks unlikely that I'm going to get off level 2 here but I do like the way it's testing my brain and we are seeing sort of like the gameplay essentially but I, don't, I got off I got off one level didn't I what more can you ask from a, a twit commentating and playing the game for the first time at the same time if I had this one back in the day as a keyboard I'd play this yes because it would have been considered brilliant uh, this, is, this is with like 30 years um, development or whatever of, of learning to get the most out of stuff. But this is 2019. Um, oddly enough, I'll, I'll admit to you, I'm no longer a kid. I'm not at school anymore. I, I left a little while ago. Um, yes, seems like another lifetime. Right, how we can get in here without getting died? In, out, shake it all about. Yes, that's it. We do the okie cokey and then we buzz off. Um, right. That's going to move, isn't it? There we go, and I can just take that, right, 47 left. And there's a movie thing that's going to kill us. Let's get away from that. Oh, look, here it comes. Oh, no, we're trapped here. Let's go. There's another one. Oh, we've given them both the slip. That's good gameplay, isn't it? I think there's two of those. I was trying to crush him then. Oh, I'm being a bit cocky here. I should have just... Oh, look, they're back. I should have just gone when I had the chance. That That is... um. That's that's wasted, that is. I should have just gone. Fled for the hills. Where are they? We need one of those scanners like they had in Alien. That's in the room. Six metres, five metres, two metres. They was in the ceiling in the end, wasn't they? Uh, oh, you so knew that was going to happen. I like the animation when you die, when the thing just um, turns into wreckage, essentially, and falls down. Anyway, it's level, level two again. I don't know any cheats for this for any level skips, but I'm sure there must be. Do check out the other homebrew brew reviews we've done for this uh, competition. Drift, particularly good uh, racer, though hard to control, but it is addictive with an absolute awesome um, uh, intro at the start of that one, which defies belief. And Just a Gal, it's like a remake of, well, not really a remake, influenced by games like Full Throttle and Super Hang On, which was a good racer. And the bike actually, with well, the whole screen sort of like tilts as you go around the corners. So that was awesome as well. Two, two great racers. Do have a look, as I say, if you haven't already. Hmm. Good, good, good. It's nice seeing the homebrews. I mean, I, I do prefer do it, doing the old stuff because that's where the nostalgia is. But these these new ones are actually awesome too. Right, up we go. Are we going to complete this? I'm feeling not, but I'm enjoying myself nonetheless. I am enjoying myself. You've probably worked out already what to do here because your mind's just working on on the strategy. I'm I'm working on what what blinking sentence am I going to say next? Because there's no script in this. Believe it or not. Yeah. There we go, right. No no one would script this rubbish. Off we go. Right round there, get that diamond. Have I I've, I've, I've messed up again, have I? Is that going to fall down? It's not going to fall down. That's messed up. Mind you, mind you I can get that one. That's That'll take down the side. Yeah, that's, that's going to work. Yeah, I went in too early there. I should have let it do its thing. I should have let it do its thing. Curses, blast curse. This would work good on the phone, wouldn't it, or iPad? I could I could play this on the, the bus or the train, eat up a few hours, quite addictive. Um, I do want to complete this stage, although I probably won't do it in this gameplay review type thing. But it, I have got the feeling that I want to go back and I've got some more time just to see what the next stage is. Because I guess it's going to get more and more complicated. There's going to be different obstacles to try and uh, get by and all that sort of malarkey. Mm. Now if you um, get, a, I think, a block on one of the uh, the alien things going around, I think it would explode and possibly take out a bit of the brickwork which might open up to an other few diamonds. Oh, I so, so there we go. Yeah, that's a case point, but I so knew that was going to happen. I so knew that was going to happen. But it's, you, need the, you need the skills to take out, to drop the boulders on the, um, the alien, so that's an acquired skill, isn't it? Maybe we'll go through the last one first this time. Let's go down here. Right. Look at the animation on the diamonds. They are sparkly. They're not even. They're not just one set colour. Not doing anything like cyan or just a, a plain white. They are flashing about. That's rather good programming, I would say. That was lucky. Fall up. Oh, I killed one of the things. That's good. They don't regenerate to my knowledge. So I've killed one of them, so we've got a chance here. 
famous last words. Don't do anything silly. That was I almost did something very silly then. Heaven for Betsy. Oh, look, there's two. Perhaps they have regenerated. Unless there was three before. Look, I've killed it again. I've killed two of them, as far as I'm aware. I'll kill that one. No! Ooh. Oh, look, there's two. Yeah, they do regenerate. So there's always two. You kill one, another one turns up from somewhere else, and I've, I've cornered myself in again. Get out of here. Where is that other one? Where is that other one? Right, how many crystals? 38 left to get. We, we don't need to hang around here, really. Uh, oh man, that was close. That was super close. Right, this is the best go so far, which isn't saying much. How many? 34. That thing's getting a bit close. I don't want to um, fence in the uh, the exit again. Mm, don't want to block myself up either. Oh, that's oh, oh, that was a big. That was almost a huge mistake then. 25 left, 19, 17, come on Nick, it's just got to get in there, oh god, I'm getting a bit scared, I'm getting a little bit scared here, but I uh, hope you can tell this is addictive and uh, it's just wanting you to play it, down to 10, 10 more crystals please, 10 will do us, Where? Oh, where's 10? Oh, they're in there, aren't they? And that funny thing's in there. No! Oh, God. That's about as close as it comes. If I had another few goes on that, I probably would get it, I think. What a great game this is. A great puzzler, well presented. I uh, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Automated Cave Explorer on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Alexei Borisov in 2019. Great graphics, great sound, great gameplay, and a massive advance over the original Boulder Dash on the Spectrum, at least, from Front Runner in 1984. So, yep, do take care of yourself. Uh, there'll be another video up quite uh, soon, probably on uh, Saturday there. And, yeah, take great care of... Care of uh, Take great care of yourself, and until next time, a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.